Cheers. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Cheers all around. I noticed that you guys recently won the gold medal for the best brewery in the Lakes region. How do you feel about that? Oh, we're incredibly excited. You know, we've only been open about a year now, and to be recognized as the best brewery in the Lakes region is really an honor. And you know, when we had put it in our post, we really think you know the really the congratulations goes to our staff. They have made our customers feel so good about being here at the brewery. You know, to relax, take it easy. So really, our staff is really number one. You guys are doing great. You said that it, uh, you've been open for about a year now. Sure. You just celebrated your first year anniversary. I saw. Good. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. We even brewed up a special beer for that, uh, and it's actually just sold out. Uh, oh. And we took a very unique name to it. We called it One. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Speaking of unique names, uh, how did the name of Twin Barns Brewery come about? Well, it was an interesting conversation. It was. Uh, it goes back a long way. So when we first bought the uh, brewery or the building here, um, we were walking through uh, with a structural engineer, and he actually said, "This isn't one barn. This is actually two barns." So we actually going through the process of looking at it, calling it two barns. But unfortunately, that name was taken, and Bruce came up with a new name. <laughs> it's a good name. Yeah, right oh. off from here from two to twin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful in here. You guys did an amazing job. Thank you. Thanks. You can actually, if you look up right there, see where the two lines come together. Oh, yeah. yeah that's the yeah. line on the floor. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so we have big plans of actually putting up some signage that explains the story behind the yeah. two different barns so that the customers can get involved in sort of the history of the Right. Yeah. You can tell that there is a lot of history. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What, guy, what sets you apart from um, the other breweries in the area? You know, uh, well, a couple of things is, you know, we like to brew our beer uh, from wide politics. So if you're a quarter drink, uh, you've got a quarter beer. If you're an IPA, you're an IPA. We're trying to appeal to as many people as possible. I think that's one of our, our differentiators. But the second one is we've opened up a beer garden. Uh, we think it's one of the largest ones in New Hampshire, so it allows people to uh, both practice safe distancing during this crisis, as well as a place to just come and relax. And you have this uh, moniker we say, have a proper beer that's been raised in the water. It's true, and I took a peek at um, your menu. You do have some different items in there than most breweries, and I love the fact that you have a kids menu, so you are open to having Absolutely. children in the story too. Absolutely. We want to create kind of an atmosphere, whether it's indoors or outdoors, where it's like your great your house or your backyard. You know, the kids are there all the time. You know, we've got games on the indoors, we have games for the outdoors. And we want you to come, relax in the on deck chair, watch the sun go down, have the kids run. You guys mentioned that you had some games around. Do you um, do play yourselves or? Oh, I uh -huh. have every game possible. <laughs> yeah. We've got a shuffle board that is, we have a, we have a, a tournament every morning before we open. <laughs> 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 It's really yes. cool. So at, at six o'clock at night when the sun's been down for two hours, uh, we're trying to figure out, you know, ways to bring, you know, bring everybody back out again to your living room, your dining room. Yeah. Um, so we've been actually uh, um, because on Wednesdays and Thursday nights doing trivia, you know, awesome. um, and then we uh, contracted last year with our music bingo on Saturdays. You know, give people a reason. Oh yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will come up for that. Yeah. So that's, that's awesome. Cool. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have some events like live music? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so, you know, again, we want it to be like, again, at that gallery and the radio on. And in this case, we just have the live music. So every single Saturday from about 3 to 6, we'll have either a, 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 a soloist or a duo. Just, you know, just kind of playing that nice vibe music, you know, tap your foot, sing okay. along. Type thing. I'm sure people love it. Mm -hmm. Can you see anyone get up dancing? Oh, we've heard oh, yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. You guys feel like it? Oh, God, yeah. It's on the yeah. beer. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that. How many beers do you typically have on tap here? Yeah, so we weigh each other. Typically, we'd like to have about 10 on tap, you know, depending on how busy the weekends are. It's probably been at 8 to 10 every, every, every day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. It's great to have you. It's great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> cheers again. Yes, yeah. cheers.